So we're starting with an existing ADF application. So you have the normal model and view controller. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a new project. So like that. And we're going to use the custom project. And we're going to choose ADF Mobile Browser as the technology for this project. Okay, we can give it a name. So we can call this the mobile project and we can click finish. So you see this project actually uses faces config and we're going to create a new page. So this is a GSF page. And we're going to make sure that this checkbox, the render in mobile device, is in here. Okay. Now for mobile application you probably want your pages to have short names because then it's easier to type the URL. So I'm just going to call my page the A page. And when your page come up you can actually switch here between various screen sizes to see how it would look like. Okay. But in terms of the rest of the development, you're basically going to do something very similar to a normal ADF development. So you have your data control palette over here, and you can see your view object over here, and you can drag and drop it to place it in your page. So for example, let's create a table. Now what you'll see is that we're actually creating a Trinidad table. So when we're using ADF a mobile browser, we're using the Trinidad set of components. It gives you a little bit less of uh, capabilities, but it gives you the ability to run on multiple types of um, devices. Okay, so one thing you probably want to do is you want to use, um, you want to show less data in your page, right? So maybe just those three fields because you have limited space, right? So this is something to take into consideration. Right, so your page comes up. Still, the normal visual editor, you can go in and change properties for things. Um, we're going to show you, for example, one cool aspect is that we're going to take the Trinidad component and we're going to use a component called Panel Header. Drag and drop it to the top of my page, like that, okay? And give a title, for example, Amps, like that. And then go down, there's a Style Class property here, and I'm going to use AF um, toolbar, and you can find out the uh, style classes in the uh, Fusion Developer Guide for mobile development. Okay, so we got this one here, and we can actually add another button to our page. So let's take a command button, put it down here, and in the properties for this button, call it edit. And then let's go back to our faces config um, file. Okay. You can see that when you're using ADF faces, we automatically get this style sheets in here, um, which allows you to basically uh, adjust the UI of the page to the mobile device capabilities. Right. So in this case, we have one page put another page and let's do the navigation between them called navigation edit and we'll call this page b.gsf like that so now when we actually go back here to the button the action is going to be edit and let's create the b page and again make sure this checkbox is checked and you can take, for example, the same data control, drag, drag and drop it over here, create a form. This time maybe you can show a little bit more information about um, the employee. So I don't know, maybe for example, the street and city address of the guy. Um, remove the rest, click the submit button. Okay, so you get this little page nicely done here. Click save, um, submit button by the way, you can maybe go back. So can do navigation back this way and have the action on this one be back. Okay, and put it at the top. Call this one edit and AFM toolbar. Okay, save everything and run it. When the page comes up, you can copy the URL. Actually, that's the edit page. We probably want to start from the browse page. So you open your browser. So this is a, a nice iPhone emulator 
called Mobi One. You can download it for free. That's the evaluation version. So we'll go to the A page. Okay, and we got our table of employees, and we can actually select an employee and click Edit to go and see the details of this employee. Click Submit to go back to the first page. Again, the, the nice thing here is you get your normal development approach. So for example, you can go over to your table okay, and set the number of rows because you're on a mobile device. Maybe you just want to have four rows at a time which would make the user interface a little bit easier to uh, fit into a small device, right? So, if you now go and refresh the page, and now you get the four records, right? So this might actually be nice, because you can actually um, switch your device to work this way. You can see the data this way. And um, when you click on the list, you get the normal way of scrolling in an iPhone list, okay? Like this. So you can see a specific set of rows, choose an employee, click edit, and go back to this page where you can see the data. Again, this is a read-only view, so you can't actually edit on this page. The same application would work on other devices as well. So for example, you can go over and access the page on a Palm Pre in this example, okay, or other devices as well.